Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the Vertex web platform brought to you by Optimal Analysis Solutions. What we're going to take a look at today is the report section of your platform. The report section consists of four things. We can look at the amount of views that your web platform is getting. We look at how you're using your credits. As an administrator, we can look at how the instructors are performing and we're also able to export all of your customer data. So just to explain the information under these headings. So first, content views. Content views is pretty self-explanatory. In the top section here we have analysis reports. This allows you to see how many analysis are watched each day. And we can see here on this academy there was a large spike in May and it's petered out a bit over the winter. We can see what percentage are being viewed. So we can see 62% are being viewed with 38% not being viewed. Further down here we can have a look at the pre-roll. So those clips that we set up in the library to play beforehand we're able to see how many times these have been watched and also what percentage of people are clicking on the image to be redirected. If there's more than one pre-roll clip you can select the drop down to reveal a list of pre-rolls and you'll be able to see the specific data for the clip that you want to see. With credit usage you can see when your credits are being used and also when you purchase credit. So you can see here this large blue spike. This academy purchased a large number of credits from us in one go and they still have plenty left in stock. If we move on down we'll be able to look at the user account usage. So you can see the given account types. So we've got a student account and then we can also see the edited account types, the accounts that the administrator of the site has created on the right hand side, this is where data is uh, shown for the amount of new site credits you have left. If we were to do a uh, event that required a custom built platform for the customer, then this is where you'd need to check to make sure that you have at least one unused site credit so that you can carry on building the site, the new site for your customer. If you have many instructors working on your academy, by selecting instructor, you can see which instructors are performing the most analysis. You can use the start and end dates to look at a specific time period. And you can also use the drop down to select any given coach and just look at their details. So this top graph is for analysis uploads. So this is uploads in a post lesson fashion. The remote analysis, this is when customers send information in, is currently turned off on this website. But again, it works in much the same way. We would be able to see which coaches are performing the most remote analysis, i.e. which customer is attracting the most traffic uh, from those on the platform. And again, in the same way, using the drop down, you can look at all the instructors or just one of the instructors and that just leaves us with one last report function and that's to export the data by selecting export data it downloads all the information that you have captured on your customers including the names emails phone numbers addresses all of the information that you have captured upon creating our account and we'll place it into an excel spreadsheet this is done by selecting export user database and saving it to your desktop. From here you'll be able to put it into programs such as MailChimp or any existing newsletter function you have and add them to your mailing list. 